Welcome back to Clonaut again, episode 8. We're gonna continue this arc of gang wars with Fukine, or Yukine, I think it was, the girl's name. Of course, I would remember exactly when I left off last time, <laughs> but you know, that's what happens. Yukine, I think that was her name. If it's not, if it's not, then uh, I'll be corrected in a very short time. We'll figure it out. I want to see where it goes. I want to meet this big brother of hers. So, let's figure it out. Maybe it'll be a sad arc. Uh, the family tearing apart shit. That's what happens. And I don't like it in the terms of it always gets to me. Because I love family. I love love. I love friendship. I love everything like that. So anyway, let's figure out what happens together. Now. Hello. School time. Oh, we're back in the the room, faculty room. I don't know what's it called. Right. Sounds like you need a boyfriend. <laughs> like how you're just offering that. Maybe Sunohara. He needs a girl. Oh. Give her a fucking the way the the push was so sweet. Oh. <laughs> oh. Poor girl. Hello. <laughs> Everybody fears her. Tomoyo's got some fucking superpowers. Oh, that looks so good! What the fuck? <laughs> I wish it was that easy. If only, Tomoyo. You got good morals, but the world doesn't work that way, unfortunately. Some people just want to fight. I don't want to see anyone hurt. I really don't. Especially not the fucking innocent pure angels. Oh god, what are you gonna get involved in? What are you gonna get him involved in now? Well, he's obviously gonna lose, but, you know, um, I don't know. This is confusing. What is the right choice? Who even knows? I don't think that's a good idea. You're gonna get to beat the shit out of you, so you're just gonna back up. Oh god. Oh no. Not the mommy bread. Don't eat it. <laughs> Rainbow to you. Ultimate jam? Oh my goodness. Oh, he's in another dimension. Uh, oh well. The power of sauna is bad cooking. Oh god. Time to play with the big boy. Oh god, this guy is ooh. Oh my god, dude. He is getting tossed around like a rag. I fucking- I can feel this shit. He's not even getting one punch in. 
Oh, was that a tooth? Bro, you gotta fight back. Oh my god, this animation is fucking cool, dude. Oh. Bro, come on. Oh! Dude, you're fucking giving him brain damage. Oh my god, Nagis! <laughs> Or in a geese, uh... <laughs> Good one, bro. <sighs> Took that long to recover from the fucking paralyzation bread. Oh, he's here. A little too late, buddy. Oh, it's Sunohara dressed up. Wait, no, he ran down. Never mind. Stomach is churning. Oh. Just get along, guys. Fuck me. That took a turn. Oh, fuck off. <sighs> Seeing these things. Oh god, that was pain. Now it hurts even more with her reaction to whenever they talked about her brother and she was like subtly like looking away. Oh. Well, the way she lovingly talked about him sometimes. <sighs> Is this the start of something that's gonna keep happening? That was rough. That was very rough. Oh, that almost got me bad. Fuck. That made my stomach actually just like... 
squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Oh, pain in the butt. Oh, okay. Oh, I feel sick. I feel sick. I gotta go and do something about that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. That was painful. That arc ended differently than I thought. Oh boy, it hurt. Ah, uh, well, she find she found peace. I'm glad she did. She found some semblance of peace. Rest in peace, big brother. Rest in peace. Uh, this is what happens in war, okay? You gotta handle it. You gotta deal with the consequences, and she is doing that great. Greatly. Thank you for watching, everybody. I'll see you in episode 9? Yeah, 9. Hope you have a good day. See you later.